Hey guys, it's Katie from Sunset Properties and I am going to tell you how to take a pile of driftwood like this that you found on our beach, clean it up and make it into a beautiful Christmas decoration. Be sure to pick up those stray shells you see too. We've taken our shells and used just a low temperature hot glue gun. They're very inexpensive at your local craft store or big box store. And a, a one little roll of ribbon in whatever color is best for your tree. Um, put a dollop of hot glue down in there and just carefully stick the ribbon in. Don't burn yourself because it can, can get you. But uh, use the end of a pencil or toothpick uh, to push your ribbon right down into the glue and it holds it nicely. They don't have to even be whole pieces. Of course, first we have to get the stick, all the driftwood sticks back from the dog. <laughs> he thinks they're his. You definitely want to be sure to work on a surface that isn't going to be ruined by hot glue. Um, here's our little hot glue gun right here. So it's very simple, very small. I think they're about between five and ten dollars at the craft store. Uh, as you can see, we lined them up in a graduated style, um, largest to smallest, that gives you the shape of your Christmas tree. Now, putting them together to where they hang like a ladder, that's the hardest part of this whole project. Um, as you can see, we've wrapped the fishing line around each piece. Each piece was done individually. We wrapped it around in a loop and then tied on each side, on each end of each piece of driftwood. Okay, and as I mentioned, each piece was done individually. So you had a loop around this end and a string tied, a loop around this end and a string hanging off the tie. Once we had each individual piece tied with their strings hanging off the end, we attached them to the next largest piece. So again, we looped around the end and tied, and we actually ended off each knot with some hot glue. That just kind of sealed everything. And again, we do recommend a low temperature gun, um, just because you don't want to melt this, or it kind of defeats the purpose. You don't want to melt your fishing line. Um, once you have each piece attached to the next largest piece, well, you have kind of your ladder formation here, which will ultimately become the body of your Christmas tree. I've decided this particular branch is going to be the perfect place for this shell. As you can see, the ribbon doesn't stick up over the top. It's hidden back behind, so you're not going to see where it's coming from once it's glued on. Something I didn't mention earlier is, if you don't have a really long piece for the bottom, we actually connected two. We found two shorter pieces that were kind of flat on the ends and actually put them together with some fishing line. You couldn't even tell from a distance. Um, and it turned out beautiful and gave the bottom piece just a lot of character. So I'm excited to see what it looks like with um, shells and ornaments hanging from it. So you've got your pile of shells here all attached with ribbon. And we're going to have our ornaments here in just a minute. Jane, our head of housekeeping, is working on those as we speak. She's actually doing something similar to this. Instead of ribbon, she's putting on fishing lines. So it looks like they're just going to be um, magically just laying there or magically hanging there. Um, but we'll show you a finished product shortly. Okay, as you can see, I've done just a little dollop of glue and stuck my ribbon into it or our fishing line into it all along the bottom edge here and I used just a little tool you know you like I said you could use a toothpick you could use um, a pencil I used a seashell <laughs> so that's just what I happen to have handy Okay, I've gotten everything glued down. I just have this one last little piece of fishing line to cut, and we're going to try to hang it up. So we're ready. All right, 
right guys, here you have it, the perfect way to bring your beach vacation treasures to the holidays.